boys, we are back and welcome to another video. So today we have uh, one, two, three, ten sales to share with you. Uh, yeah, awesome, uh, doing cool, selling loads of things in lockdown, of course. Uh, and we're going to start right now with this first item here, this vintage carved wooden rhino animal figure desk ornament home decor. Sold this for $19.99 plus postage. I honestly do not know how I got $19.99 for this. Fairly... Uh, amateurly carved rhino. I mean, it's not the best carving. I've seen better carvings than this, to be honest. There's what there was one rhino I had that was sort of lacquered. I mean, this is this has been uh, lacquered or something. This, it's been polished or something on it anyway. But it was really, really lovely, and the detail on it was incredible. And I sold that for the same price actually. And this one isn't as good. I mean, it's still okay. It's still fair. But it's not as good as that one. That one was incredible. Uh, and so, yeah, I can't believe how I actually got $19.99 for this. Really, I thought I would be getting about $12.99 for this plus postage, something like that. I mean, it's still an okay figure. It's still done quite well. But compared to the, some of the other ones I've had, uh, it isn't really that brilliant. It doesn't really hold a candle to them. So, yeah, uh, that was that one. Anyway, $19.99 plus postage for that rhino there. Next, we've got this Wayware Ceramic Cheese and Tomato Pizza round recipe dish tray i pick this up for two or three quid in a charity shop don't ask me which i haven't a clue i get so much stuff that i forget where it comes from i'm sure we all know that by now so you can't um condemn me for not knowing where it comes from <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible because I'm the one who actually picks this stuff up, so I really should know. But anyway, um, yeah, two or three quid in the charity shop, twelve ninety nine there plus post. Uh, people do love these pizza recipe dishes, these uh, all manner of recipe dishes, casserole recipe dishes and stuff that are printed on the dish. They love them. Uh, you can get 10 to 15 quid for most of them, uh, depending on what it is and stuff. The pizza ones seem to do quite well, and they seem to go reasonably uh, quickly as well uh, in most circumstances. Uh, the casserole ones might hang around a little longer, but you can still get, as I say, between that 10 and 15 pound for them. There might be other ones that you might be able to get more than 15 quid for, but I've not come across any as of yet, and I've had a fair few of these things. But yeah, 12 uh, plus post for that one. Next, we've got a vintage portrait woodland traditional framed watercolor painting. R. Hale. Uh, I don't think this was a particularly sought after artist or anything like that. $29.99 plus postage. Pick this up in an auction job lot. Individual cost to me, two or three quid, something like that, shooting fairly high. Uh, and yeah. Can't complain with that one. Three quid, let's say, into 30 quid. Yeah, that's uh, all day long. I'll take that. Uh, nice little painting, this. In fact, when I picked it up out of storage to obviously package it up, I thought, oh, what? why did I sell that? I, I, I would have liked that myself. But problem is, I've not got room on the... Um, the walls to actually contain another painting. I've got a painting up there, I've got two there, I've got one there, I've got one there, I've got a whiteboard there, and any more would just look too much, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I can't have any more paintings up, but it is a shame. It really is a shame, um, because I would have liked that one there. But anyway, that's that one. Next, we've got this vintage traditional style with a scene painting portrait uh, with gold frame, 1999 on this one, plus post. This will have come in a similar job lot, if not not the same job lot from the auction house. So again, two or three pound cost to me. I cleared out loads of paintings from one auction once. It was, uh, I got about five lots of six paintings. I had about 30 paintings from one auction uh, in all. So yeah, I got a lot of paintings from one auction and they were costing me next to nothing individually uh, when I worked it out, maybe two quid, something like that. So yeah, really, really happy uh, with this one. Two or three quid there again as a maximum cost that I would have paid into 19.99 plus postage. So yeah, can't complain with that. Selling quite a few paintings recently. I don't know what that is about. I really don't know why people are buying paintings at the moment, um, but yeah, they, they seem to be going quite a lot. I mean, as, as, as you've seen, I sold a couple on the other sales update. I've shared a couple here. I might have even sold another one that I've not shared on this sales update. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, there's quite a few are going. Uh, next, some Doc 2 BBC Sci-Fi 11th Hour figures. So this is a little bundle that I created from the Series 5 opener of the 11th Hour. We've got, obviously, uh, Matt Smith 
in his regeneration outfit there from David Tennant. Uh, we've got little Amelia Pond as well. We've got Amy Pond in her police kissogram outfit. And then we've got Prisoner Zero as well there, who was also portrayed by Olivia Coleman, uh, who I thought she did a really good job um, of portraying, like, you know, that evil side. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I digress. Uh, I didn't get $24.99 for these. I got $19.99. More than happy to accept that offer. Now, if you do put these figures, if you put Doctor Who figures in little bundles like this, specific to episodes, you might be able to actually get a little bit more. Because, actually, I did get a fair bit for these figures. Now, the uh, the little Amelia figure, sometimes, and I have actually got uh, this for that figure separately as well, when I've sold that figure separately, sometimes you can get around a tenner for that figure on its own. But, it sometimes might take a little bit longer. So what I decided to do with these um, is actually bundle these up. As I say, put $24.95 on them for the figures, which is fairly high. Um, but as I say, then I got a offer of £19.99, uh, £19.96 or whatever it was. It was around that sort of price. Um, and yeah, they sold for that. So I was more than happy with that. Uh, nice little sale on those dot two figures there. Next, the Simpton Simpsons Photo Mosaics Jigsaw Homer Simpson Bowling Puzzle. New and sealed. Again, will I pick this up for two or three quid from a charity shop? Don't ask me which one because I forgot. But two or three quid from a charity shop, nine ninety five plus postage there, so can't really complain with that one. As I say, brand new and sealed. Not really much to talk about on that one. Next, vintage MB Hasbro Jenga original wooden stacking game. I actually was sorting this, uh, or maybe I was listing this on a listing hangout or something like that. I showed it on a video anyway, and I got nineteen ninety five plus post for that. Now, I think this was one of the items that my granddad gave me for free. So, if it was, which I'm pretty sure it was, I'm 95, 99% certain that it was, uh, then, obviously, there's no uh, costs other than postage and fees and stuff with regards to this. So, yeah, after postage and fees, that will be pure profit. It's a nice little Jenga game there. Obviously, it's worth picking these up if you see them for a couple of quid, one or two quid or something, uh, car boot, charity shop, all that sort of stuff. Well, when you can actually go back to car boots and charity shops that is um and yeah you maybe get yourself a tenner or maybe even just more than a tenner next got this disney store exclusive small winnie the pooh rue plush toy it was brand new and tagged and of course it was stamped as well let me show you this little stamp there disney store stamp um i believe i paid two quid for this in a charity shop so two quid into 9.95 there plus postage can't really complain on that one nice little item i always like picking up the winnie pooh winnie the pooh um you know disney plushies and things like that. Uh, next, we've got this Disney uh, Photo Mosaics Winnie the Pooh Thousand Piece New Sealed Jigsaw Puzzle. Again, probably picked this up for a couple of quid in a charity shop. 14, actually, did I get, did I accept an offer? I can't remember whether I accepted an offer on this. There's a possibility that I accepted an offer. Um, but maybe not, maybe not. So, uh, 14 99 on this plus postage. If I accepted an offer, it wouldn't have been less than a tenner. So, it's in that sort of £10 to £15 range plus postage. It is a pain. I've said it so many times before on video. But the way I do these sales updates, eBay does not give me the offer price it sold for. And so, unless I've looked at it previously... Um, and obviously I'm going through quite a lot of sales, so I don't look at all of them previously. But unless I've looked at that offer price previously, I don't know whether I accept an offer or not, which is a bugger. Um, but yeah, even if I did, I'd say it would have been in that 10 to maybe 12 99 range. Um, and yeah, so all either it would have sold for 14 99 there. So yeah, that's that one anyway. But even if it did, let's say, sell for a 10 or plus post, I paid a couple of quid for it. There's still a good little bit of profit in that. Just a bread and butter item, really. But yeah, that's that one there. And then finally, if we've got one more item, yeah, we have this Squinkies, Squigglies. Squinkies, I mean it's Squinkies, Marriage Supplies Bandai figure set. And I actually got this for free off one of my dad's friends. I'm not going to divulge because everyone knows that I got a load of stuff from my dad's friend for free. And so this was one of the items, $14.99. So after postage and fees and all that lot has come off, that will be pure profit. So yeah, can't really knock it on that one. And that's a nice little one to finish on. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. If you haven't already, then please feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you would like the video, then 
comment or if you did like the video then please whack a like down below if you've got any comments questions or queries anything of that nature then please do whack them down below in the comment section i do try to respond to every comment even if it's just a little short one i will at least heart it but i do try and make make it my duty to obviously to reply to as many as possible uh, if not as i say pretty much all of them but sometimes a couple of them slip through the net if it's a crap comment in terms of if it's one saying oh why are you so crap or oh why are you like this or oh why are you like that i probably won't respond to it so to be honest i'm lying i don't respond to every comment i just respond to the ones who have the decency to say something or contribute something of value and with, with regards to the other comments that go meh, 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 like that if they're sort of a constructive criticism comment I'll respond to those because that's perfectly fine. But if it's just a me, you know, comment, then I won't respond to it. But yeah, 99% of comments I'll respond to or at least give the little heart. So yeah, drop a comment down below and I suppose that'll do it for the ramble at the end. So I will see you in the next one. See you very soon, guys.